Hi there guys, it's Dave from BC Bushcraft. I'm just going to be showing you guys what I brought with me in my Deep Woods Solo Wild Camp. It's a pretty simple kit, but it's also not simple in some ways too. This kit weighs about 30 pounds. Uh, the reason why, there's a, quite a bit of weight. Number one, I brought my axe. This axe weighs 3 pounds. It's 22 inches long. I think the head is probably two pounds, maybe two pounds and a quarter. Can't tell you what it is, so it's a mystery steel because it's a restored axe that I restored myself. It was very useful in building this shelter and for all the camp tasks that were needed for my solo wild camp. I had my bow saw. This came in so much, so handy. This was, I used this a lot for chopping down poles and getting them to size to make my lean-to. Just for sawing through for firewood, I use this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's just a regular bow saw. On my persons, carry with me. I've got a cap gun for a bear scare and a little bit of, I think this is pepper mace, but my wife gave this to me because I said I wasn't going to take bear spray, so she gave me this. So maybe if someone tries to attack me in the woods, I can mace them. <laughs> Whether it will work on a bear, I don't know. In my other leg pocket, plastic bags and a little foraging bag. I use the plastic bags to secure water and for general foraging. Same thing with this. I foraged and had some pine needles in this guy. This pocket, back of a Laplander. I brought two saws. I use this sometimes and I like having this on me just because it's light and easy. So when I'm scouting around without my backpack, at least I have some form of saw. It didn't get used as much as my bow saw on this trip, but usually it gets used quite heavily. On my belt, I got my fire steel that I made, and I got the condor bush lure with my car to handles. I have a baby Swiss army knife got little scissors which I used a few times didn't use the blade so the backpack itself it's a Miltec 36 liter backpack it's not the best backpack in the world but it's a, an affordable option and it served me well I put a paracord lashing on here to slide my axe handle through when I'm carrying my axe I rigged a chest strap here I got a compass whistle and I think it's got a thermometer on there that's easy access so I can blow it. I got a knee pad down in there, which was used a lot. Not only was it used a lot, it helps keep this part rigid. There's not enough, um, there's nothing here to keep the backpack from bending in like this. So that keeps a nice form along your back. It's an incredibly awesome piece of kit to have. A knee pad, I used it so much on my solo wild camp. I use it as my pillow even. We'll open up this pocket here. This is my cooking kit with some water. I have a little scrub to wash my pots and pans. Twig stove that didn't get used because it was too wet on day one. I have a fork. I have the stainless steel water bottle that holds about 75 mil. Sorry, 750 mil, almost a liter. I have my mug that can hold 500 liters, 500 milliliters, with a bale on it. The bale moves around a little bit, so I have to be wary about that. I use this a lot to purify my water, and I did all my cooking in my mug. As far as my bed mat, my bed roll goes, it was on the bottom of my bag, and I just had a plastic bag wrapped around it to prevent it from getting damaged and wet. So let's move into some of the pockets. I've got this pouch up here, keep some trail mix, keep my headlamp. I have a spare compass and a project that I never got around to. This pouch here, basic first aid kit. The cotton bandana, some Vaseline, duct tape, water purification, band-aids, and some other stuff. Some bug repellent, mosquito repellent, some pills and spare batteries 
pain pills and allergy pills. And I have spare contact lenses here just in case I break my glasses. Last, I have toilet paper and baby wipes. That helps a lot. <laughs> this pocket here, this pouch here, I have a set of gloves that I used to work with. My cordage kit, which has a variety of different cords. This wrapped my Thermarest sleeping pad to tie it down tight. I have two bungees, paracord. I use paracord to wrap my ridge pole. Jute twine, which I reinforce the ridge pole with. And that's basically about it. I hung my backpack with this bungee from uh, tree branches and from my shelter. These are really useful, so I usually keep two of them on me. You never know if you just need a quick, simple fix for some cordage. A bungee is a really good idea. Next on, I have spare folding knife. Didn't get used. I have a few carabiners, didn't get used. Back here, simple gouging tool to make small divots in, for spoons and bowls. This also didn't get used. <laughs> My sharpening kit, it's just got a field strop, diamonds sharpener, some oil, steel wool, that sort of thing. This didn't get used either. Another woolly gloves, which actually got used. And my scout survival kit, which includes my survival kit as well as my fire kit. You can look at my video on my scout survival kit and I'll just briefly show you my fire kit. So I got a few rolls of birch, big chunk of fat wood, some cotton balls, some chalk cloth underneath and a nice chunk of fat wood here. Spare fire steel as well. I can also make char cloth in this tin. So in my last pouch here, which opens up really nicely, I got spare camera gear, a thing to charge my cell phone. Because I use my cell phone to film, this was incredibly helpful. I also had a backup camera, which only shoots in 480p as well as a spare cell phone, just in case I break mine. I have my food kit. In my food kit, I carried this Tetley tea tin here, which includes some salt and pepper in the form of this shaker, which is really cool. Some tea bags in here. I have half of a toothbrush or the head of the toothbrush, some coffee, brown sugar, some Werther's Originals, and some baking soda. Also in this bag, I have my trash. I have a cloth that I used to towel myself self off with, not dishes. Spare pair of socks. Then in this paintball pod pack that I used to play paintball, obviously, I have I had a cup of oats and a cup of rice, as well as an egg and a few herbs that I cut up. What also was in here was some ramen noodles, which I ate. I had two protein bars which I ate. I ate most of my trail mix. And I believe that's all the food that I have, or that I had on me. One liter of water. I got rain gear here. I got pants and a jacket. I also slept with that because it got quite cold at nighttime and I didn't expect that. Up top here, I have my keys and some essential cards like credit cards and stuff. I have a book that I didn't get to reading as well as my field guide that I didn't even open. My field journal, sorry, which I didn't even open. I didn't have a chance or time <laughs> to spend 
doing things like that. I was too busy building the shelter and all the chores just kind of overwhelmed me. So this is my entire kit. I highly suggest that you check out my video, Deep Woods Solo Wild Camp. Uh, this is a, everything that I brought with me. I'm still out here and I'm just finishing off. So it, it's, I did a lot of things and I accomplished a lot of stuff with this kit. So I really do encourage you to go check out that video. It's, a, it's probably going to be one of my best videos that I've made. I accomplished a lot out here and it was incredibly fun. So I really hope that you liked it. Please like, please subscribe, please share, do all those good things. This is Dave from BC Bushcraft.